Uh, Berkshire Hathaway, we have all kinds of businesses. We own 73 businesses now, and in, in businesses, we're looking for a, an entity that has durable competitive advantage, somebody that not only is doing well now, but will do well 10 or 20 years from now. And in capitalism, uh, when you have a wonderful business, it's like having an economic castle. And the nature of capitalism is that people want to come in and take your castle. It's perfectly understandable. I mean, if I'm selling television sets or something, there's going to be 10 other people that are going to try and sell a better television set. If I have a restaurant here in Omaha, people are going to try and copy my menu and give more parking and take my chef and so on. So capitalism's all about somebody coming and trying to take the castle. Now, what you need is you need a castle that has some durable competitive advantage, some castle that has a moat around it. And that moat, best, one of the best moats in many respects is to be a low-cost producer. But sometimes the moat is just having more talent. I mean, if you're the heavyweight champion of the world and you keep knocking out people, you've got a competitive advantage as long as you can keep doing it. And it's very profitable uh, if you're the one that happens to be able to do it. If you can turn out great motion pictures, I mean, you know, Steven Spielberg, I mean, he, he, he's a fellow to bet on. And, and it has enormous economic value. Well, we're looking for that institutionalized. We're not looking for the best brain surgeon in town. We're looking for the Mayo Clinic. So we want an institution that regardless of the person in charge, will maintain that competitive advantage over the decades. And, and we, we hope we find that in some businesses, and then we try to get the best person that we can to run them. Usually it's the person who's been running them. Are you always right, or do you make mistakes? No, we make mistakes. It wouldn't be any fun if we didn't make mistakes. I mean, if I went out and played golf, and on a, every one of the 18 holes I hit a hole in one, I wouldn't be playing golf for very long. I mean, it's, it, you have to go into the rough occasionally to make the game interesting, not too often, though.